Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 Afghani female singers. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Women from countries previously considered conservative, such as Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Azerbaijan are gaining high popularity in the entertainment and media sectors due to some wonderful women. Singing and acting are rapidly getting into their blood and more, and more females are making strong grounds in the field of entertainment. Therefore, today, we have gathered a list of the most popular female singers from Afghanistan in 2020. These exceptional women even after leaving their country due to the disturbing law and order situation have gained a lot of success. Let's have a look. Number 10, Roya Doost Genre. Afghan pop music occupation, singer Roya Doost is an Afghan singer who is very well known for her artistic lifestyle. Very little is known about her personal life but her voice is very famous. Number 9, Ghazal Anayat Genre, Classical, Pop, Blues, Ghazal Occupation, Singer Ghazal Anayat is an Afghan singer who belongs to Kabul, Afghanistan, and is currently residing in Canada. She performs her shows in European countries and received recognition in 2015. In 2012, Ghazal was chosen as the best new female singer at the Ayana Television Awards. In 2013, her Ashiki song which is a trio song with two other leading male singers of Afghanistan, became the best song of the year at the Ayana Television Awards. In 2017, she represented Afghanistan in the Global Village Festival in front of more than 21,000 people. Later that year, she got the title of the best singer of the year from BBC Persian. She has performed many concerts in Canada, United States, Tajikistan and Europe. As of 2020, Ghezal has become one of the biggest female singers of Afghanistan, as she has millions of fans not only in Afghanistan, also in Tajikistan, Pakistan and Iran. Number 9, Shabana Meraya Genre, Afghan Pop Music, Ghazal Occupation, Singer. Shabana Meraya was born on 16 November 1981 in Kabul, Afghanistan. She is an Afghan singer who belongs to a family of artisits. Her parents, Sultan Ghazal Rahim Meraya and Mashal Taranam Khanam Parastu, were known as the most successful musical duos in the late 1980s. Born and raised into a musical family, grew up listening to beautiful Afghan melodies, having a unique voice and amazing singing talent are the reasons that Shabana Meraya started her singing career in 2010. Shabana Meraya's first duo song with Khalid Kayan, Duktar, Tajik, introduced to the Afghans her astonishing vocal talent. Her style, her talent, and her outstanding voice set her apart in the Afghan music industry. Number 9, Satara Nawabi Genre, Afghan Pop Music Occupation, Singer, Songwriter Satara Nawabi is an Afghan-American singer who was born in Kabul, Afghanistan. She entered the music world on 5 August 2008 with her music album, Masti. Music is not a career or job for her but a passion that is quite difficult to fade. 6. Arezo Nikbin Genre, Afghan Folkloric Music Occupation, Singer, Host, and Passionist Arezo Nikbin is an Afghan female artist whose hometown is Kabul, Afghanistan. Little is known about her. Number 5. Farzana Naz Genre, Afghan Folkloric Music Occupation, Singer Farzana Naz is an Afghan singer originating from Baklan province. She mostly sings in Pasto, and has made most of her songs in Pakistan due to unstable conditions in Afghanistan. Her song, Pekla de Kabul, has been her biggest hit in Afghanistan so far. After giving interviews at Pashto entertainment channels, like Shamshar TV and Kibar she became more noticeable. She has performed in many places throughout her life including Iran. Farzana's most popular concert was in Lashkar Gar, Helmand. 12,000 people attended the concert and were hailed as a success by local authorities. However, the local deputy governor was sacked after tribal leaders got angry saying he shouldn't have let an Afghan woman without a headscarf sing on stage even, though Afghan law does not force women to wear headscarves. Number 4, Ghazal Sadat Genre, Pop, Afghan Folkloric Music Occupation, Singer Ghazal Sadat is an Afghan singer who was born in Kabul, and spent most of her childhood in Istanbul, Turkey. Later, they moved to Canada where she completed her diploma in dental hygiene. However, her love for music and interest in Afghan cultural music always remained the same, and motivated her to go towards the beauty of Afghan music. Number 3, Sita Kasami Genre, Pop, Afghan Folkloric Music Occupation, Singer, Songwriter, and Composer Sita Kasami is one of the very few famous Afghan, singers who grew up with the dream of becoming a successful singer. 
After being married at an early age, and then getting out of the abusive relationship, she persuaded her dream. Her most popular songs include Bia 2, Dilbare Merabanam, Duktar Kuchi, Ta Sera Mina Laram, Zan, Sita's career started by performing at small, functions with renowned singers from the music scene like Jorid Sharif and others. At one of these functions, Sita met Vali Hedjasi who was still a cameraman back then. Vali had asked Sita if she was interested in collaborating. Sita composed, wrote, and sung the songs Bia 2, and Dilbare Merabanam. After this, she started solo with her single, Bar Taswiram. The song did reasonably well and Sita Kasami had established herself as an Afghan singer even, though many did not know she was the voice behind Vali's songs, as she was not credited by the singer nor was she featured in the video clips. This had caused some tension between the two, as Mariam Morad took all the credit away for a song she lip-synced. Sita's first commercial success came with the song, Duktar Kuchi, which was based on a love story between an Afghan nomad girl and a boy. She followed this up with her next song, Mastam Mast. Sita had established herself, as a music artist among the Afghans outside of Afghanistan and it was not, until her collaboration with Shafiq Muad when she got also popular inside of Afghanistan. This was Sita's first Pashtu song, and she was praised for her well-versed accent in the video, Ta Sera Mina Laram. The song was shot inside Afghanistan, depicting a love story between an Afghan villager and an Afghan girl from the west who visits the village. Another collaboration followed with Shafiq Muad, Lamba Dai Shoma. However, no video clip was made for this song. Sita followed this up with a Pashtu N.A. backquote at song and featured in Shafiq Marid's Da, Afghanistan, video clip alongside Mojdar Jamal Zada. A nationalistic song with a message of peace between Afghans. While she stayed in Afghanistan she gave a series of concerts and interviews. Her next hit was the Hazaragi song, Watanda. On International Women's Day Sita released her song, Zan, meaning woman. The song reflected on the important issue of the role of a woman in Afghan society. She followed this up with several other songs, until her next and latest success, Garane. A Pashtu song, showcasing the life of a simple Afghan girl who enjoys the simplicity of life. Unlike many other music artists, Sita made her television debut with a charity show. During the month of Ramadan, Sita visited families in need with a camera crew to let them tell their heartfelt stories and experiences. The show provided the families with help and food and was aired on Kashid. Number 2. Mojdar Jamalzada Genre, Pop Music Occupation, Singer Mojdar Jamalzada is an Afghan singer who fled the civil war in Afghanistan and settled in Canada when she was five years old. She studied journalism, philosophy, and political science, while keeping her love for music still alive. Out of her many Afghan songs, Dr. A Afghan, Afghan Girl, was an instant hit on Afghan TV and brought great fame, and many awards towards her. During the civil war in Afghanistan, at the age of five, Jamal Zada and her family fled the country to settle in Canada. Jamal Zada was raised in Vancouver, British Columbia, where she went on to study broadcast journalism at the British Columbia Institute of Technology, and philosophy and political science at the University of British Columbia. Mojda's political and philosophical studies, gave her the drive to pursue more difficult ambitions. Once she joined One TV, she decided she wanted to make her trip to Afghanistan fulfill her desire to make a difference. She became the host of The Mojda Show, which later became the subject of international media. The concept of the Mojdar show was created after the Oprah show, which gave Jamal Zada the title, Oprah of Afghanistan, by Western media, such as CNN and Time magazine etc. On the Mojdar show, Jamal Zada and her producers created programming that addressed taboo topics in Afghan society, describing what it was like to be a woman, a child, and a person living in Afghan society. The Mojdar show also provided Mojdar with the ability to explore and learn more about the current situation in Afghanistan through the eyes of Afghans. Number 1. Ayana Saeed. Genre, Afghan folkloric music, pop, R&B, hip-hop occupation, singer, songwriter Ayana Saeed is an Afghan singer, TV personality and songwriter who was born in a Pashtu family. She along with her family moved to Pakistan and then Switzerland. Currently, she lives in London, England. She reached the heights of success in 2008 when her song, Mashallah, became a big hit. Since then, she has made several appearances on television as a host and judge. Saeed has also had host roles in musical television shows for the One TV and Tolo Networks. 
Ayana's Banu e Atash Nasheen, which describes the pain the women of Afghanistan have faced over years of war, and abuse has won her enormous critical acclaim. A large orchestra has contributed to the music of the song, and the shooting took place inside Afghanistan. Shortly after the song was released, Ayana was asked for an interview by the BBC to explain her reason and meaning behind the song. Her next big hit was Anaram Anaram which put Ayana back at the top of the charts in Afghanistan. In 2017 she won the Afghan Icon Award and was named the 2017 Best Female Artist of Afghanistan. She also received the title Voice of Afghanistan from the Afghanistan National Television and Radio Network. Ayana has also received awards for Best Song of the Year, Best Video of the Year, and a Bravery Award. What do you think of our list? Which of the singer do you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.